So you're thinking about starting that business, and you're not really sure what the first step to take is. I mean, you've already got the idea of what you want to do, but how do you put this into action? Where do you start? I suggest starting with a business plan, right? And a business plan is a document that's going to define in detail, you know, your company, your business's objectives, and how you plan to achieve those goals. Now, a business plan lays out a written roadmap, you know, for the firm from marketing, financial, operational standpoints. Both startups and established companies use business plans. A business plan is an important document aimed at a company's external and internal audiences. For example, you know, a, a business plan is, is used to attract investment before a company has established a, a proven track record. It can also help to secure lending from financial institutions. You know, even more on, you know, a business plan can serve to keep a company's executive team on the same page about strategic action items and on target for, you know, meeting established goals, right? Whether that, you know, executive team you have is you and your buddy, just you, or, you know, if you have some people coming in to help you with it, you know, everyone could be a part of that team or whoever you want to be, right? Now, although they're especially useful for new businesses, every company should have a business plan, right? And ideally, the plan is reviewed and updated periodically to reflect goals that have been met or changed. Sometimes a new business plan is created for an established business that has decided to move in a new direction. So I'll start by trying to understand it. So a business plan is a fundamental document that any new business should have in place prior to beginning operations. Indeed, banks and venture capital firms or, you know, they're going to require a, a viable business plan before considering whether they'll provide capital to new businesses. So if you're going to go to the bank for a loan, you know, you're going to need one. Operating without a business plan usually isn't a good idea. Even if you're not going to go get a loan, having a roadmap to where you are and where you want to go is, is, you know, very, it's very beneficial. And very few companies are able to last very long without one. You know, there are benefits to creating and sticking to a good business plan. You know, these going to be able to think through ideas before investing too much money in them and working through potential obstacles to success. A good business plan should outline all the projected costs and possible pitfalls of each decision, you know, you're going to make. Now, don't think you're not going to make mistakes. They're going to happen, and you can work through them, and, and the business plan will help you do that. And, you know, business plans, even among competitors in the same industry, they're rarely identical. However, they can have the same basic elements, such as an executive summary of the business and detailed descriptions of its operations, products, services, financial projections, a plan. It also states how the business intends to achieve those goals. The plan should include an overview and if possible details of the industry, you know, of which the business is going to be a part of, it should explain how the business will distinguish itself from its competitors. So what are the elements of a business plan? Well, the length of a business plan varies greatly from business to business. Um, you know, for like a, a bigger-ish business, you know, we're talking 15 to 25 pages. But if you're starting a new business and like an online business or, or you know, something like that or your own little rental business, you know, one page is probably going to be all you really need to write down most of the stuff you need, right? You know, and then other crucial elements that take up a lot of space, you know, it, you know, think you got to think about some of these businesses who have patents and stuff like that. They got to be referenced in their document and stuff like that. So, you know, these business plans are for big companies, middle companies, small companies, so every size. But like we said earlier, no two business plans are the same, but they tend to have the same elements. So some of the common and key parts of a business plan are going to be uh, the first ones we're, like we talked about executive summary, right? It's going to outline the company, include the mission statement, along with any information about the company's leadership, employees, operations, and location. Then there's products and services. You know, there the the company can outline the the products and services it will offer, and it may also include pricing, product lifespan, and benefits to the consumer. 
Other factors that may go into this section include, you know, production, manufacturing processes, any patents that you might have, as well as proprietary technology, whatever it's going to be like that. Information about research and development can also be here. The next one is going to be market analysis. So a firm needs a good handle on its industry as well as its target market. This section of the plan will detail a company's competition and how the company fits in the industry, along with its relative strengths and weaknesses. And, that, and it's also it's going to describe the expected consumer demand for you know a company's products or services and how easy or difficult it may be to grab market share from people who are already there. The next is going to be your market strategy. Now, this section describes how you're going to attract and keep, you know, your customer base and how it intends to reach the consumer. A clear distribution channel should be outlined. Uh, in this section, you know, it also spells out advertising and marketing campaign plans and the types of media those campaigns will use. Then, of course, financial planning, right? You need financial planning and projections. Financial statements, balance sheets, and other financial information should be included for established businesses. New businesses will include targets and estimates for the you know first few years, plus a description of potential investors. And last but not least, we've got the budget. Every company needs to have a budget in place. Just like every person needs a budget, every business needs a budget. Now, this section should include costs related to staffing, development, manufacturing, marketing, anything that you're going to use, you're going to spend money on, any expense related to the business. Next up, we've got types of you know business plans because business plans help companies identify your objective and remain on track to meet the goals you set. They can help companies start, manage themselves, and grow once up and running. They also act as a means to attract lenders and investors. Although there is no right or wrong business plan, they can fall into two different categories, traditional or a lean startup. Now, according to the uh, Small Business Administration, the traditional business plan is the most common. It contains a lot of detail in each section. These tend to be longer than the lean startup plan and require quite a bit of more work. Now, lean startup plans, on the other hand, use an abbreviated structure that highlights key elements. These business plans aren't as common in the business world because they're short. As short as one page, and they lack some details. If a company uses this kind of plan, it should be pre prepared to provide more detail if an investor or lender requests it. So most of the time, if you're start doing your own business as, as a startup or something like that, you're going to use a lean startup business plan, and you just need the information available to you when someone, you know, if you're... If you ask someone to invest in your company or if somebody says, hey, I like what you're doing, you know, can I be a 10% you know, partner or can I help invest in your company? You should have all this information, you know, your budget, financial planning, marketing, all that stuff. You should know it. Now, there are some special considerations to talk about before we move on. Now, financial projections. A complete business plan has got to include a set of financial projections. You know, these forward-looking financial statements are often called pro forma financial statements or simply the pro formas. They include an overall budget, you know, current and projected financial needs, and a market analysis with the company's marketing strategy. And then a major reason for a business plan you know, it's to give owners a clear picture of objectives, goals, resources, potential costs, major drawbacks of certain business you know, decisions. A business plan should help them modify their structures before implementing their ideas. You know, it also allows owners to, you know, project the type of financing required to get their businesses up and running. If there are any especially interesting aspects of the business... They should be highlighted and used to attract financing if needed. As an example, Tesla, right, the electric car business, essentially began only as a business plan. Now, importantly, a business plan shouldn't be a static document. As a business grows and changes, so too should the business plan. An annual review of the company and its plan allows an entrepreneur or group of owners to update the plan based on successes, setbacks, or any new information. 
it provides an opportunity to size up the plan's ability to help the company grow. Think of the business plan as a living document that evolves with your business. So, how do you write a business plan? Well, the well-considered and well-written business plan can be enormous value to a company. While there are templates that you can use to write a business plan, try to avoid producing a generic result. Start with the essential structure, an executive summary, company description, then a market analysis, your product or service description, then move on to your marketing strategy, your financial projections, and then at the very end you want an appendix for documents that support the main section. Now your plan might include any funding requests that you're making, and again, for the for bigger companies that are going to be really detailed, you know, the main body of your plan is going to be 15 to 25 pages, and for the, the lean version, you know, one, two pages. Now, what does a lean startup business plan include, right? The lean startup business plan is an option when a company prefers a quick explanation of its business. The company may feel that it doesn't have a lot of information to provide since it's just getting started. So the sections for this might include a value proposition, a company's major activities and advantages, resources such as staff, intellectual property, capital, a list of partnerships, customer segments, you know, and, and revenue sources. So when all said and done, what are we what are we talking about here? What are the key takeaways? What have we learned as far as when it comes to these business plans, why we need them, what they're for? Okay, a business plan is a document describing a company's core business activities and how it plans to achieve its goals. A s- startup companies, you know, they use business plans to get off the ground and attract outside investors. A business plan can also be used as an internal guide to keep an executive team focused on and working towards short and long-term objectives. Remember, your executive team could be just you or you and your significant other or you know any family or friends that you have with you working on this. Now, businesses may create a lengthier traditional business plan or a shorter lean startup business plan. Good business plans should include an executive summary and sections on products and services, marketing strategy, analysis, financial planning, and always, always, always make sure you got that budget in there. So hopefully this will help you guys if you're getting started, you know, making your own business, you know, just a short little, you know, lean plan, lean startup business plan, just to write down your goals, how you're going to accomplish them, what you're going to need to accomplish them. And then, you know, kind of change it as you go, you know, every six months or year, you know, as you're evolving or your business is growing. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you did. But until I see you guys in the next one, y'all be safe.